Hey everyone, it's Sarah with another book review. I'm actually bringing you two books today. Uh, How to Hang a Witch by Andrea Mather and the sequel, Haunting in the Deep by Andrea Mather. Sorry, the light was getting a little too bright. And first off, the How to Hang a Witch is a book about Samantha Mather. The author gave her her last name, Matt, uh, and she is descendant from Cotton Mather, which is the priest of the Salem Witch Trials, and pretty much the uh, um, roundup guy who hung all the witches during the Salem Witch Trials. And uh, the Adriana Mather is the real descendant of Cotton Mather, and in her story, she, Samantha, her character, is a 16-year-old girl, just moved from New York to Salem with her stepmom in her old, back to her old family house, which is like a huge mansion in Salem. And uh, she's walking through all these old rooms and finding all these old things that belong to her family, her ancestors in the past. And she is discovering a whole bunch of different stuff of how deep her ancestry is with the Salem Witch Trials. Her ancestor, Cotton Mather, and then becomes, at first becomes enemies, kind of, with the descendants of the original witches. And eventually, towards the end of the book, I don't want to tell you how, because it would be a spoiler alert, becomes friends with the, all the descendants all become friends. And she actually finds out that she has powers herself and is pretty much a witch herself. And she, um, how do you say it? Like, resurrects, not resurrects, but like has a, a moment where she brings back her uh, ancestor, Cotton. And he kind of figures out that she is a witch and it's kind of like, uh, really funny to pretty much just slap it in his face that his descendant's a witch and it's pretty much just all his fault. <laughs> and Haunting in the Deep, by this book she actually becomes a part of the coven and he, uh, in this line she is following her grandmother's ancestry and is, uh, Talking about going back to the Titanic, she kind of goes into these dream states where she, it's not really a dream because she's actually physically there and she goes back to the Titanic, of uh, pretty much becomes a niece to her, uh, which would be her great, great grandparents and she tries to, it ends up being this curse and she breaks this curse and it ends up being this guy that they all knew that's been in this the book the entire time and it all kind of just clicks together and she ends up breaking the curse with the coven's help and it is this book is actually a pretty bit more creepy than this book to be honest and I love them both and I love the fact that Andrea Mather the author is so invested in her ancestry. I did ancestry DNA myself and it's just so inspiring when I uh, when someone is able to write down their own history and just make a really cool story of it as well because this is actually the author's ancestry and she just puts a 16 year old girl in her place. And in, in the back of the Haunting in the Deep is an Adriana Mather's uh, author notes. And she talks about her ancestry line of the Titanic. And she shows all these old pictures and all the old letters of the, of her ancestors and what uh, they wrote to her cousins and nieces and her sisters. And in here somewhere it does say how she like feels like it's a shame that people don't really write in cursive the way that they did back in the day. 
And I kind of feel that way too after reading how beautiful this handwriting is. All the ancient cursive. Oh my gosh, I actually called it ancient. My, that's horrible. <laughs> and I personally love uh, this story of being in Salem and going through all the ancestry in Salem because after I did my ancestry DNA and started building my tree, I learned that my Stevens line actually came over from the Mayflower and I do believe she, uh, Andrea Mather also has um, Mayflower ancestors as well and my uh, Stevens line was actually there during the witch trials in Salisbury, not necessarily in Salem but they're in the same county, just another town called Salisbury, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right and I am not 100% sure if they played a part in the witch trials, if they were finger pointers or just someone who kind of just stood by and let it happen. But I am very, very interested in finding out more and learning about my ancestors from back then, studying up on ancestry DNA or trying to find another way to figure out where my ancestors stood during those times because I just find it, I kind of just find it very fascinating. And I love the Titanic and the Titanic's era and all the different uh, outfits they wore back then. And just the mannerism, I guess. And I just got finished reading these books. And I will bring uh, you the other book she brought got um I got an Amazon the other day the killing of November is not going to be a sequel to these two books it's going to be its own um genre of book and I am interested in how she um wrote that book and how if even if her ancestry plays a role in that book like how her ancestry plays a role in these two books and I am curious to find out and I'll let you guys know when I do, ta-ta for now. See, get to reading. It's good for you and it's so much fun.